Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about a subject we all can relate to. Have you ever been on a diet or a weight loss plan and have all intentions of eating correctly, exercising, going to the gym, making a plan, starting a journal, and for some reason, that same day you're ready to start, you find yourself doing the opposite thing? Well, that's what this video is all about. Five habits that sabotage our weight loss efforts. The first habit is we, don't not, we do not want to appear impolite. If a family member or a friend decide to cook us a meal or cook something that they know we love, we will feel like we are doing them a disfavor by not choosing to eat that particular item. It could be a cake, a pie, dessert, pasta, something that's not on your current plan. But what you have to remember is your life, your health is at stake. We have to always keep first and foremost in our minds of our objective and our goal. We are trying to save our life. The second habit, emotional eating. We all can relate to emotional eating. Someone, we're upset, we're angry, we're disappointed. This is just not a good day. Things are just not going right. And what do we do? The first thing we do is grab for that bag of cookies. Go eat that big pan of macaroni and cheese. Go in the refrigerator. We're not even hungry, but we go in the refrigerator and grab whatever is convenient. You have to learn or come up with a more productive way to deal with your emotions. Emotional eating never solve the problem because after you finish eating the problem is still there my number three is trauma a lot of us have been through situations that's just unbelievable unbearable you don't want to think about it be it sexual assault or maybe you've seen something or been involved in something that to this day still bother you and sometimes we use food food as a protective layering, we feel that the heavier we become, we're protecting ourselves from whatever it is we feel that's going to harm us. But your best course of action is to make yourself stronger, more healthier, more involved with your life. This way, if any type of situation comes forward, you're more able to defend yourself. You're more able to protect yourself. Becoming, adding another heavier layer to your exterior is not going to protect you. We have talked about so far that we do not want to appear impolite, which sabotage our efforts. There's emotional eating, and of course there's trauma. We have to find positive way to deal with these sabotaging habits. My number four is you keep striving for perfection. You have a, a, a lifestyle plan or a weight loss plan and you want to do it verbatimly or exactly like the plan. And if you do not do it that way, you, you tell yourself, I failed. I didn't do it right. So if I fail, I might as well go to the refrigerator and just grab whatever I want. Well, in reality, so you failed that one time. So you didn't work it. Everything didn't go right that one day. The next meal is another time to start over. Nobody is perfect. Don't even try to be perfect because you are setting yourself up for failure. The goal is to be consistent. Do your best whenever you are on a plan and keep moving. So you mess up one time, no big deal. My number five, it waste, weight loss is really 80% what you put into your body and 20% activity. Focus on your intake. Focus on your fruits, your vegetables, your nuts, your seeds, your juice. Focus on the whole food. Focus on things that are going to nourish your body. Of course you want to go to the gym. You want to exercise. You want to walk. You want to do weight lifting. You want to move. And even if that's just a move to the corner, to the, to the block to get the mail. Just some type of activity, but have your main focus on what you put inside your body. 
The next two habits we talked about was striving for perfection. Instead of striving for protection, for perfection, strive for consistency. And remember the 80-20 rule. 80% of weight loss is nutrition, 20% is activity. I hope these tips were beneficial. I hope you learned something for it. And I help, hope it help you in your sabotaging, not to sabotage your weight loss effort. Yeah.